Don't cheat. I, I didn't cheat. You were cheating. ¿Qué tal, mi gente? Welcome to the channel. My name is Camila, if you're new here. I'm here with my fiance, Luke. And today's video is going to be a fun challenge. Since we both work in the industry, we decided to play this game. Guess the movie by only hearing the logline. A logline is a one sentence description of a movie. So we're gonna try to guess this movie titles. I'm gonna give you five loglines, he's gonna give me five loglines, and we'll see who wins. I'm a little nervous, to be honest, because I love movies. I love watching movies, but I have a terrible memory. It's true. So I'm scared, because you might remember like the movie titles, and I'm just gonna be like, I know that movie. And it doesn't count if you I, don't know the title. You have to know no, the exact you have to title, know exact title. And the year, and the writer, no. and the producer, and the studio. No, I'm not going to do that. That's too hard. But that's too hard. But I chose pretty easy ones for you. And I know that you watched all these movies. I chose really hard ones, so she loses. I'm nervous. keep it score. Like, I'm literally shaking. I don't I can want tell. to lose. Your, your voice is just like, I'm going to lose because you lost lose. before. She lost Yeah, the you guys challenge. have seen my other challenges videos that the I... wine challenge. I lose every single time. You ready? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so I'll, I'll, wait. Should I put a timer, right? Yeah, it's like how many minutes? Two no, minutes? Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. If you don't know in thirty seconds, you don't know it. Okay, you're right. Okay. All right. Whenever you're ready, hit the timer. Go. No, you need to give me the oh, log line yeah, first. That's true. Okay. All right. Let's start with something <laughs> not too difficult. Something you'll probably know. Okay. This is easy. Okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. After the murder of his father, a young lion prince flees his kingdom only to learn the true meaning of responsibility and bravery. The Lion King? But which one? The first one? 98? 94. It doesn't matter. You still got it. Okay. So this is actually the remake in 2015. Nah. <laughs> well, and I still, I still get the point. Yeah, you do. You do. It's the same logline, though. It's the same move. Okay, yeah, okay. So. so I didn't even have to put a timer. You got it, very quickly. Okay. That was good. I started easy. That's the easiest one you get. So one point for Camila. Okay. In Thailand, John joins a group of mercenaries to venture into war-torn Burma and rescue a group of Christian aid workers. Rambo. Who... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so one one. One one, yeah. Oh, okay. And that year was 2008, they came. Why are we saying the years too? That's not after fair. That's, like, that's bonus points. Okay. No, it's not bonus points, but it's just fun. Okay, so your turn. It's one one. I'm scared. Why are you scared? You're, it's, it's a tie. Yeah, but I feel like you're gonna win. I'm definitely gonna win, but there's no reason to be scared. Yeah, you're a writer. You write log lines for a living. I, d I don't write any log. I don't read. I just watch. I don't read. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Um, you guys should play at home too. Like if you guys are watching this. Try to see if you can guess. Okay. Even faster. Than this me. one is is should be easy, but it's also challenging. Okay. It's an easy hard one. Tell me, tell me. Okay. The adventures of writer Newt Scamander in New York's secret community of witches and wizards 70 years before Harry Potter reads his book in school. Oh, the Fantastic Beast. That's, that's not the full title. Oh, uh, um. Uh, Fantastic Beast. The uh, I can't remember the actual full title. I just know it's the Fantastic Beasts movie. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The Fantastic Beasts. And. Fantastic Beast and oh my god, I can't remember. Fantastic Beasts. Are you timing? <laughs> no. Oh, I should have typed. It's probably past thirty seconds. Already. I'll give you another couple of seconds. No, right. it's not gonna come to me. Okay, so you get half a point. The title is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Where to Find Them! <laughs> I already said it! It's like a catch. No, you get to half a point. I was about to get the... You get half a point. <laughs> so you have 1.5. You got half the title. Oh man, this is hard. Okay. I told you that was an easy one, but yet tricky. Yes. Because they have two. Well, because people always say, oh, have you seen Fantastic Beasts? Like, you never say, like, the other part, like, where to find them. I mean, you can have a point if you want a point. You, you knew the movie. I knew the movie, but still, like, this is guess well, the two movie movies. title. There's two movies. They have two different titles. But that was the first one. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We can give you the full point. I don't I even know the junk. second one. The second one is, like, Grimm's Wall. 
The curse of Griswold? I don't even know. <laughs> Alright, so it's my turn now. The presidencies of Kennedy and Johnson, the Vietnam War, the Watergate scandal, and other historical events unfold from the perspective of an Alabama man with an IQ of 75 whose only desire is to be reunited with his childhood sweetheart. Holy crap, you, you know I've seen this. You've seen this movie many times. With a really famous actor that was like super famous in the 90s. Everyone knows this movie. People think that this is their favorite movie too. Oh, Forrest Gump. Oh man, I was giving you clues though. You give me clues. <laughs> you give me clues. But I gave you clues too. And you still didn't get it. <laughs> no. Okay, we'll go 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2. Two, two. We're 2-2. Two, two. Okay. All right. Oh, that let was me a do little, that. I don't know why that was hard. I've seen that movie but like so many times. See, you know, I, think I it's the way you. I think it's the way you... Read? Yeah. Oh, whatever. I, or whether, English whether, is whether, my whether, second language, okay? So no, it's not so much how you read. It's how the logline read. I think the way the wording of the logline was kind of confusing. Well, the logline was a really long line. That was a <laughs> Like a long line. sentence. Too long. It was a run-on. <laughs> okay. All right, so your turn. I don't know why I'm so nervous. This I was an easy one. I'm giving you an easy one on this one. Play Jeopardy or anything like this. This is really easy. You have to get this one. Yeah, okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. A lost and alone kitten joins a gang of dogs engaged in petty larceny in New York City. Oliver and Company? Yep. I love that movie. Yeah. That's why <laughs> you're so was. good. None, your other two are going to be hard. Mm -hmm. In 1954, a U.S. Marshal investigates the disappearance of a murderer who escaped from a hospital. Shutter Island. Yeah. You know, funny story about that movie. You don't even let me finish the sentence. I knew what it was. So, so funny, I saw that movie for the first time um, right when it came out. And then I went, I got to do a QA. and a I, went, I didn't do it. I was at a QA and a with, with Leah. Leah? Mm -hmm. That's cool. But I went with my friend Barber, um, who unfortunately has passed away. But this was a long time ago. And, and he was so excited. We went to this um, screening in North Hollywood. And um, son of a bitch fell asleep during the movie. Barber. So he didn't watch the, such a good movie. If you haven't yeah, watched Shutter Island, you guys have to like, watch it. It's I'm so sitting good. there next to him, and I, and I hear snoring. I look over, and he's just passed out. So when he woke up, he, woke he didn't up. know the, the twist? Well, he watched most of it, but he fell asleep. And then he took a smoke break in the middle of the movie. <laughs> I'll never forget that. Anyways, oh, my God. I love that about. movie. That's such a great movie. Yeah. Okay. A tale of greed, deception, money, power, and murder occur between two best friends. A mafia enforcer and a casino executive compete against each other over a gambling empire and over a fast living and fast loving social life. You've seen this. You Is like it this? Ocean's Eleven? No. Is it Casino? Yes, but you can't keep guessing titles. Why? I just you guessed. Yeah, I did. Sounds and it was in less than 30 seconds. Yeah. But I, I missed the first part that you said. I don't know, my mind was not. I was, not listening. Money, I was not power. listening. I was not listening because you said murder. so many things, and I was like, "Murder!" I was like, "What?" <laughs> so I don't know. I just thought of Ocean's Eleven because I heard of Casino. You guy. heard Casino and yeah. you heard gambling. So you're yeah. just thinking movies that take place in Vegas. <laughs> and also, Ocean's Eleven is Has like nothing to do my with that. favorite heist movie. But this isn't a heist movie. This is no. A I know. I know. But that's hear... what I was thinking in my mind. Yeah. You hear mafia enforcer, and then well, you're yeah, Vegas. Casino. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. also a amazing movie. It's a great movie. Yeah, Robert De Niro does great. Okay. So it's my turn. Your, your turn. Kill you. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. A family heads to an isolated hotel for the winter where a sinister presence influences the father into violence. The Shining. <laughs> It's yeah. a really famous movie. And there's only one movie where they go to a hotel and there's violence. Which, another nice little antidote, I was working on this show uh, a couple weeks ago and we were shooting at the Biltmore Hotel, which is in um, downtown LA. It's 100 years old, more than 100 years old. And what's so creepy... That's kind of scary. What's creepy about it when you're working at night and you wander around to go use the bathroom and there's no one around and there's these giant black and white photographs of like... 300 people from the first Academy Awards. Oh, wow. From like 1920 something. Uh huh. But it looks kind of like that photograph in The Shining. Really? It, weird, because it's like a bunch of people in like tuxedos from mm -hmm. the 20s. Yeah. So I'm standing there at like 3 o'clock in the morning by myself in a hallway looking at this giant photograph, and I'm like, in a building that's 100, in a hotel that's 100 years old. And I'm just like, 
So I can go crazy here. <laughs> yeah, and then we had lunch, which is basically middle of the night dinner, in this basement area. And I found the bathroom, I wandered through, and it was just, it hadn't been remodeled. So I had the old sinks and the old stuff, and there was no way in there. Oh, Until God. I heard someone flush the toilet. And there was someone in there in the stall in the back, it kind of creeped me out. Yeah. So definitely well, got shining vibes. I mean, downtown LA has so many different scary buildings because they're so old. So you know there's some kind of A lot of people energy. Died. Watch the other video she did about haunted places in LA and you'll see some of that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do a video like that every Halloween to make it scary, spooky. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. With their warning about Lord Voldemort's return scoffed at, Harry and Dumbledore are targeted by the wizard authorities as an authoritarian bureaucrat slowly ceases power at Hogwarts. So obviously you know yeah, it's Harry Potter. But which one? This is a hard one. But hold on, read it again, please. With their warning about Lord Voldemort's return scoffed at, Harry and Dumbledore are targeted. Oh, is by it the Order Wizard of the Phoenix? Yes. Oh, good job. <laughs> that was, that good. one was hard, that was though. Hard. That was hard. <laughs> I picked that one because you're, she's obsessed with Harry Potter. She watches it the whole series every year. So I was like, okay, this well, is a no hard number, one. Yeah. This is a hard one. I wouldn't be able to guess it. I've seen all these movies, but I haven't seen them enough to know which. Yeah. It's like you could ask me what Ma an Ab Mad Men episode, and I could tell you what season it's in. Oh, okay. A 17-year-old high school student is accidentally sent 30 years into- 17 again. <laughs> sent 30 years into the past in a time-traveling DeLorean invented by his close friend and eccentric scientist. Okay, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, you repeat it again? A 17-year-old high school student is accidentally sent 30 years into the past in a time-traveling DeLorean invented oh by his goodness, close back friend, eccentric scientist. I'm an idiot. I, for some reason, you hired 17 in time travel, and <laughs> I, like forgot, <laughs> I forgot that you said back in time, although you went forward in time. I'm an idiot. Yeah, but yeah, back Yay! to the future. It's the easiest hey, one. High five. We should do one extra one as like the bonus round. Okay, fine. All right. You have to have a bonus round. I have another really hard one that will... Okay, this is not that hard. My mind blanks. I don't have a good memory. This one's really easy. If you don't get this one, then... I'm a loser. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you ready? While visiting his hometown during Christmas, a man comes face to face with his old high school crush, whom he was best friends with, a woman whose rejection of him turned him into a ferocious womanizer. Oh my god, is it just friends? Yeah. <laughs> That's too easy. I should have done the other one. I love that movie, I though. was going to do Mean Girls. The Mean Girls one I was going to do. Okay. The early life and career of Vito Corleone in 1920s New York City is portrayed Godfather while his son, two. Michael. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, part two. Yeah. You got to get that one right. You can't just yeah. say Godfather. Yeah. It was three. Yeah. That's too Wait, easy. how did you know that it was the... Because I said Vito. No. Just the Vito early part. Well, well it's, it's, it's not that. Vito's in all of them. Well, in the first two, but... But um, I said the early life and career. Yeah. So you know that it's the second one. Because the second one is the first one you know. Well, see the first story. one would have been Michael, blah, 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 you know? And you also don't really hear him called Vito as much. You hear him more referred to as a godfather in the first one. The second one's where they Well, there's talking. also Don. They call him Don. They call him the Don, yeah. They don't really call him Vito because that's when he was a young man. Should we do one more? Lightning room. I know. I'm we really probably, trying to beat you. Honestly, we should have gotten someone else to do this and then see like, if we have like a buzzard. You know These what I mean? These are too easy. We know all of them. I'm we should do that list. next time. Okay. Like, Get like a little buzzard and see like who wins. This okay. should be a board game. This doesn't count because this is really hard, but I'm going to see if you know it. Okay. This is the one I got. I got this. I pulled this one and it's it's from a movie that I'm pretty sure you've seen. Um, I think it's a shit movie. Okay. But it's a famous movie. Okay. Go. Cool. With lots of accolades and awards and... Okay. <laughs> okay. This doesn't count. You, it's still a tie. Okay. <clears throat> a story of family, religion, hatred, oil, and madness focusing on a turn-of-the-century prospector in the early days of the business. Of oil? Mm -hmm. Oil? Early days? You can't look it up. No, I'm putting 30 seconds. It's a 
famous movie that's gotten a lot of awards and it's oil. Yeah, it's probably about 15 years old, maybe give or take. Yeah, it's about 15 years old. Exactly 15 years old. 2007. I have no idea. I gave up. I definitely lost this one. There will be blood. Oh. Did you see it? Yeah, but that was a long time ago. 15 years ago. Just Friends was 20. Almost. Well, I guess I'm fucking lost, years. though. There's only one famous movie about oil. Two, two, I should have used that one instead of Just Friends and I would have won. Okay, do you guys think that Luke won? No. Because in my mind, we're tied. We're tied. Yeah, we both won. No one won. You can't tie and win. <laughs> Alright, I think I'm going to stop the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I promise I'll make more fun videos like this with like movie related videos. If you have any ideas, comment them below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks, sweetie, for playing. Of course. I get to drink here. Yeah.